everybody, it's Adam, and we are at AATS in Philadelphia. Very fortunate to be sitting here with Dr. Larry Cohn from the Brigham Hospital and Harvard Medical School. We've got a question that came in from Fred, and he writes in, Adam, I'm scheduled for mitral valve repair. Should I maintain, increase, or decrease my physical exercise? Well, that's a, a very good question, and uh, in many, many patients I see uh, before mitral valve repair, they always want to ask me, what should I do to get ready for the surgery? And in actual fact, um, many patients with mitral valve prolapse or mitral valve disease are in pretty good shape as it is, and many are actually asymptomatic, as you know. Uh, the basic principle I tell them is don't do more than you're doing now. In fact, you ought to scale back a little bit because uh, there's going to be a certain psychogenic overlay because you get a little nervous about having the surgery and that with trying to increase your exercise it could uh, elicit perhaps a little bout of atrial fibrillation or some arrhythmia and you, you don't want to do that. So you should go about your normal activity but you might even downgrade your exercise just a little bit. If on the other hand you happen to be overweight uh, there's another exercise that you really ought to cut back and that's the one that's like this that puts food in your mouth because yeah. if you can lose five or ten pounds before the surgery it's all about your faster recovery because you'll be a little lighter and a little easier to transport around but having said that I, I would really conclude that you know, normal or maybe 10 percent less just your normal activity but don't overdo it because you can sometimes get in your in trouble if you have severe mitral valve prolapse. Got it. One question that comes up also is for the folks out there who are sm smokers. Oh, is bad, that a bad, bad real bad? Uh, smoking and surgery, and particularly heart surgery, is a very bad combination. Uh, we insist that all the patients that I do uh, with mitral valve repair are off cigarettes for at least four weeks. Uh, the reason is that if you smoke, you have a chronic bronchitis mm -hmm. and you're going to have a breathing tube down there for a couple hours during the operation. This can start some bronchitis or even pneumonia, so you absolutely have to get off cigarettes. That is just fundamental. You just can't have that. that that's bad. That's a no-no. Not a no Dr. Cohen, I know there's a lot of patients out there who are watching this, and on behalf of all of them, I just want to thank you for everything that you're doing. Okay. Um, you really have really made a difference in the lives of a lot of people. I've talked with them, yeah. and I just want you to know that uh, okay. we appreciate it. We, we do too. Thank you very much. All right.